All right, we're in for a treat here with this one. Anytime we watch Keenan, man, you know you're going to see something awesome. If I was you here, I'd be holding my lapels so far back. Right, you're talking about Worm Guard. You know, the, the Worm Guard of Keenan Cornelius. Infamous Worm Guard. It's been frustrating jiu-jitsu fighters for the last two years. Absolutely. I mean, basically, if you're in Worm Guard against Keenan Cornelius, you're not getting out of there unless you're getting swept or submitted. Pretty much. Right? That seems wow. safe to say. That's, yeah, that's the general consensus nice. with uh, what's going on with Worm Guard. Oh, a little lapel drag there. A lot of grip fighting. Now, Keenan said that in, in their no-gi match at the Worlds that he underestimated the wrestling skills, the takedown skills of Yuri Simoes. He said he felt a lot more comfortable with the gi battling Simoes tonight. And he also, not that he didn't feel threatened by the submission, but he was saying that he doesn't believe that Simoes really is a, a submission guy when it comes to, to his approach. You know, he, he really, he plays the points game. But here in Metamorphs, 20 minutes to get it done. Do you think Simoes' tactics are going to change? They have to. Go. They absolutely have to. He wants to tap Whoa. Keenan. He's got to bring it to him. He's not just going to beat him on a takedown here. He's not going to outpoint him and wait for time to run out. You need a submission to be declared the victory. The victory. I've, tr I've trained with Yuri a lot, like probably nine months, and he's well. He's very capable of submissions as well. Like he does play the strategy smart, mm -hmm. but he can finish. So you think he's going to open up here? I would like to see him open up here. Whether he does or not is a different story. But there is such a different cl like clash between two different styles. Like Keenan is so relaxed and he yeah. plays like the elusive style, and uh, Yuri's a very emotional grappler, so he comes in super hard and aggressive. Have you ever seen Simoes kind of get tired though during matches? Do you think 20 minutes favors Keenan or Simoes? I don't see either one of these guys getting tired anytime ever. I've never seen Keenan breathe through his mouth. I've never seen Yuri. Oh, a little nice triangle right off the bat. Ooh, what a dangerous guard this kid has, man. It is unreal. Those legs are made of rubber, and they're made of steel at the same time. Nice little escape there from Samoes. Yeah, these are two of the hardest workers in BJJ that I've seen in terms of fitness and, uh, and output. So the same. I can't see any of them getting tired. I hope they do. I hope they really push it hard at the start so they do get tired, but... We'll wait and see. Well, it's been a nice pace so far. You know, with the gi, it's, it's often hard to tell from an uh, outside point of view, like, you know, what's what all the little fights that are going on and the little grip fights, you know, the, the squeezing here, the pushing there, that it all adds up. And we, we don't see that outside. You feel it when you're in the match, you know, but from a spectator's point of view, it's hard to see the little battles. You see that sleeve grip that Keenan has with his right hand there? I mean, that's look at that lapel, the, the grip he has on the back of the tricep. Those all mean something. He's doing something with all those grips, you know. And and he, he is excellent at recovering from like just having like the smallest grip too. When I fought him, I think a year and a half ago, I fought him at brown belt level, and you could almost get past, and he would have like one fingernail on a bit of your gi, and he would recover. Well, look at that unpassable guard. Yuri was able to get past to the right side of Keenan's guard, and Keenan was able to weave, uh, swivel, pummel his left leg back in front, and get that guard back again. It's almost like, you know, trying to pass this the impassable guard. You, you would just want to go for a leg lock. I, I think it's important to mention, too, Kenny and Kit, that there is no uh, positioning. Like, heel hook is not allowed for the gi matches, but the leg reap, there you see the exact position I'm talking about. Is allowed. That is totally allowed. And right. if that torques the knee and makes him tap to the knee compression, it is what it is, and that's so a submission. Yeah. And he almost did it there against Keenan. Yeah, perfect example right there. But to no avail, it didn't really... Uh, make anything happen there for him. You see Keenan hiding his lapels. You see him throwing his lapels back. He doesn't want Yuri to be able to grab onto those. Do you think Yuri feels more comfortable here against Keenan fighting off his back? Yeah, he's in a good spot. What do you think about this spot here, uh, Kit? Yeah, I think I think he's a lot better off his back, especially with attacking the legs. Uh, Yuri's got some good leg locks from the team checkmate where he originally started. They've got some of the best leg lock attackers in the in the business. I think he's better off under here than what he is on top. It'll be hard to pass the guard and finish. Yeah. What do you what do you guys call that position right there? What do you call that? Waiter waiter sweep position? Oh, yeah. Wow. Now there. he's trying to awesome. take the back here. What a fish, oh, fish, fish, that, fish, 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 on King's abraça, pants there. Abraça, that is the abraça, reverse. Abraça, oh, donkey guard. Oh, donkey, donkey guard. guard. Yep. I think that's where you got it from, Jeff. I think he's in donkey guard here. Look at this. He's trying to attack that knee of Cornelius. We see Gary Tonin, actually, who we saw in the first match, utilize this position a lot. You know, guys, actually, uh, Henzo Gracie is really good, our, our main event. He's really good at this reverse uh, guard, donkey guard position, if you will. 
right when you come up to mount from that position, what is it then called? Donkey mount? Donkey mount? Reverse, hey, reverse, reverse mount. Reverse. I've seen that position in yeah, movies before. Yeah. We'll, we'll make up a name and then we'll just spread it around <laughs> Do you guys and then say we'll say know. that we made it up. Do you have donkeys in Australia? Donkeys? Yeah, it's like koala guard or something, right? Kangaroos? <laughs> <laughs> Kangaroo guard? Let's see what we got Shrimps here. Shrimps on the barbie guard? No. Shrimp, throw another <laughs> shrimp on the barbie. Sorry, kid. Sorry. Let's see what's going on here. Very funny, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So my last two training per partners were uh, koalas. <laughs> Still beat me up a lot. So They're tougher than they look. <laughs> interesting animal to try to fight. Look at that footlock you could possibly get here. Let's see. There you go, kid. When I used to train with Yuri, he used to use this a lot, actually, and try and set up uh, toe holds from here. Yeah. It used to be very frustrating. He's trying to get Keenan to fall forward to expose one of those feet. Keenan really trying to sit back there, trying to get the, that reverse guard out of there, trying to break that guard. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, these guys pulled back to the middle here. And here it is. There's Yuri attacking that foot here. Oh. Oh. That's looking awesome. Maybe with the knee here. That's going to hurt. Oh. Oh. Brutal attack here from Samoa. really attacking that knee of Keenan Cornelius. Oh. Oh, that's going to hurt. Kenny, I can't look at that. Oh, I don't know how he didn't tap to that. Just turned out with great toughness and escape there from Keenan Cornelius. Wow. That hurt me watching it. Barely escaping that knee bar attempt there from Samoa. Let's take a look at that move again here from Yuri Samoa. She went upside down, looked like he was attacking the figure four footlock here, then turned into a knee bar beautifully. That is tight. Stretch it out very tight. This is where I thought Keenan was going to tap here at this point. Uh, and Keenan, you see Keenan's hand right in front of his shin, which just gave him a little bit of space, then turned the knee. What an escape there from Keenan Cornelius. But Samoa, not just a point guy, uh, point guy there. Beautiful attack. Yeah, I think I might go ice mining after watching that. <laughs> yeah, I hate watching those. All right, so Yuri is up on the submission attempts here. Let's see what Keenan can make happen. Keenan likes these arm bars from 50-50 here. Yes, yes. Yeah, he's trying to cut that corner, trying to get his hips underneath that elbow. We've seen him do this a lot here in competition. I've seen him do that, and then he kicks his right leg to the other side of the body and goes to the back as well. The belt, the belt. Very new school jujitsu right there you're talking about. Absolutely. Nice, nice. Oh, a little guard pass here. Let's see. Keenan's guard pass scrambles are amazing. I remember thinking, watching that in his last match with Vinny Megalesh, the way he was, you know, driving forward on the pass and trying to free his leg that Vinny was holding on to. I saw him do it again right here. It's just uncanny the way he moves, man. Well, that's the thing. You know, everyone talks about his guard, but his guard passing might be just as dangerous. Absolutely. Those skinny, wiry legs are hard to hold on to when he starts moving around and dancing to the right and the left of you. Yes. Oh, forcing him over here. Yuri doesn't mind this upside-down position, this inverted guard position. Samoa's very dangerous, really attacking those legs. About nine minutes into this nice, match nice. here. You think cardio is starting to play a factor for either one of these guys? Do you guys see any uh, hints of tiring on the face of either one of these guys? I think they're they're both pretty fresh for the most part. And Keenan, this is more where Keenan wants to be for his guard passing. Nice. A leg drag nice. position. Usually Keenan can capitalize and pass nice. guards off this. This looks like a good spot he's in here. He might be able to secure this pass. Yuri's legs folding over. Oh, he's got the pass. Exposed to the back. Looks like Yuri's going to trip the back to him. Rather, he'd rather get the back and pass. Keenan with oh, look at this. Ezekiel here. Uh-oh. If you guys don't see it right there, Keenan's right hand has moved into his left sleeve underneath Yuri's right arm. And this is called a, a Ezekiel. Ezekiel choke from the back. 
And this this choke creeps up on you, Kenny. And Kate, this is this is one of the sneakiest chokes. And he can still combo to take the back and get the collar choke as well here if Yuri turns into it. Oh, this looks that looks pretty good, man. Looks tight. That looks tight. This doesn't look good. Uh -oh. Here it is. He's out. Oh, he threw him back in that half guard. That uh, really helped him. Nice escape there from Samoes. Very nice. Oh, look at this. He's attacking with this another choke here. Yeah, that's called the Bravo choke, made famous by Leo Vieira. And you see Keenan just uh, not enough though. You're able to get close guard up on it. Great leg work there from Samoes. Okay, pop question. Who does Keenan look more like, Lurch or Frankenstein? <laughs> <laughs> mm, he's got some lurch for sure. He's got some lurch. That's Adam Stewart. Does he remind me of Uncle Lester? Oh, excuse me? The guy with the light bulb. All right. We're going to throw down, mate. I apologize. Now we got to increase the pace. Come on. Let's take a look at that escape there from Samoes. You have Keenan right there working on that Ezekiel. Then he got out into half guard. There you go. But Come it was Keenan who followed up with a nice Bravo attack. And look go. at this. Excellent leg work there go, from Smoes. Go. Goes right back to close guard. And look at this. Another attack. Oh, what's going on? Happening from Cornelius now. Smoes in deep half. He's hiding in that deep half guard. See what he can get here. With that underhook, though, he's, in, he's not in the best spots here with that underhook. When you allow Keenan a lot of space, like he just starts dominating. He flips around, ends up on your back before you know it. Referee wants to move them back to the center here. Looks like Yuri doesn't want to budge, doesn't want to give up positioning here. He's got the Velcro back. Now, Jeff, is Keenan in a good position here to attack that arm? That he forearm? absolutely is. It, Yuri, what Yuri needs to do is use his left hand there, take control of Keenan's right bicep, pull his head out, and put himself in like a fireman type, fireman's carry type position. If you're familiar with wrestling at all, you would understand. But uh, you see that arm is a, is in big trouble here. Keenan's locking up that Kimura. When you're in deep half guard, you have to hide the arm. You have to hide the arm, and he did not do that here. One small fact, Yuri with that grip has one of the best grips I've ever felt. Like I've had him in, like when we're training in arm bars, and he, that grip was strong. Save him. Huh? Yeah. Like his defensive grip, you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Like I'm not sure what that grip is called with the fingers in into lock. So you're saying even I could be able, I could break it. Uh, I didn't say that. Oh, okay. I didn't say that, Kenny, but I couldn't. <laughs> Yeah, here he is a very strong boy there. And Cornelius trying to attack this arm here. Might be turning into a back take, though, huh, Jeff? Yeah, if he could free, you see, Kenny, his right leg still in that half guard. If he can get out of that, oh, little reversal there. Uh, just not enough, though, not enough. Good enough for an escape, not enough to capitalize. Samoy's very good at sitting up for that single. Wasn't able to hit the single, but got back to his feet. Yeah, Kenny, that goes back to, to his wrestling, his, his basic wrestling concepts, coming up on the single legs, which is what I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he was able to beat Keenan with yes. uh, the last time they fought, was just to, to And Nogi, absolutely. There you go, Keenan. Let's go. Let's Keenan go pulling guard there. Come on. And Keenan got the win uh, over Samoes with the game. The oh, but uh, obviously, guys, no points here. You look, at, look at this conceptually. You can see, like... You know, for Yuri to win this, he needs to keep it so tight and close. And for Keenan, he needs to keep it like a uh, like a big distance of space. I think whoever can control this space for the rest of this match will most likely win. You see that foot up in that collar. I think the referee should take that out of there. There we go. I'm surprised we haven't seen any worm guard yet. Yeah. I think he's, there we go. As you said that, he grabs onto that lapel. It must be that Yuri's hiding it from Keenan. He's keeping, oh, look at Keenan throwing that lapel up around that neck. Versatile, unique with his uh, gi attacks here, Keenan. So I would tuck my lapels into my underwear. Six minutes. <laughs> so you want to get it. Get it. Yuri. Not sure if that was a sweep or if Yuri just kind of conceded and dropped back to guard there. Yeah, either way, he is on bottom now. Keenan's on top looking for that pass. Let's see what can happen. We got six minutes left here, guys. Go, go, go. Very, very technical match. You know, we yeah, it's been a good match. It's been a lot of back and forth sweeps, submission attempts. Again, that knee bar was just unreal. I don't know how Keenan did not tap to that. Is Yuri trying to set up like a wrong little part of there a little bit? Is that what you see there? A little. I see a possibility, but no, he's got a he's got a grip on the pants. I think he's attacking the leg again. Yeah. Oh, he's going for it. He's going it for it. Set up. Set up. Yes. Keenan might be taking yes. it back here, though. Look at this. Who's got move? A little over five minutes left here in the match. Keenan Cornelius working on a back take here against Yuri Samoish. Possible collar choke here. He's got one hook in. 
got both hooks oh, in. Now the body triangle. That's not attack, good. Attack. You see it on Yuri's face. He's frustrated here. He knows he's in a bad spot. He needs now to get out. How to get out of the body triangle of Keenan Cornelius. Probably one of the most difficult things to do on planet Earth. Oh, look at this. Arm lock Earth. attack here from Keenan Cornelius. He's going to move into a triangle here. Oh, he's in a great position here, boys. Right, let's see how that grip holds up. This is that grip that Kit was talking about. That Yuri's got one of those unbreakable cement concrete grips. He's strong. Look at that. Cutting that corner, bridging out and over that. Look at that. Puts himself into an omoplata rather than an arm bar. Smart moves. So I, I often think omoplata is easier to escape than a straight arm lock. Look at this Cornelius just taking his time, wrapping his own leg up in his gi. Wow. In the gi of Yuri, I should say. Look at that. Innovator. Innovator he is, Keenan, with those lapels, man. Always coming up with something new. Here we got a omoplata. You see Yuri trying to roll out to relieve the pressure on his shoulder. Keenan might try to follow, try to roll through, see if he can get a little crucifix back action here. See what's going on. If you're Keenan, do you roll again and still try to stick with the omoplata, or do you switch it up here to this choke? Well, if I'm Keenan, I could do a million different things. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's going for that paper cutter there. Dude, he needs to keep that arm. This is his chance to tap him. He's got that arm tangled up. He's got that lapel. He's got his arm across the lapel. This is Keenan's chance to tap this dude. He's got four minutes left. Dominant position. Rolling for that omoplata. Ooh, I love that move that he was about to do. That didn't work. Yeah, I don't think he was con felt confident there with that grip on the paper cutter. Bailed on it. Yuri's out. Had to bail. Ooh, look at this. Triangle attack from Simone. Oh. Little arm plots on his own. Oh, not enough. Look at the pass. We talked about the passing ability of Keenan Cornelius. I mean, that was just like a hot knife through butter there, Kenny. Does that so well. Doesn't even get grips. Puts his hands on the legs, flips him around. I'd like to see that pass in slow motion. That was beautiful. He's got himself over the top here of Yuri. Yeah. Working in on that lapel. Look at this. Looks like the chin's down. That was almost a little bow and arrow action. Now Cornelius might be switching up to the arm bar there. Two minutes, Kina. Let's see what Yuri does. If he can do that grip that, that Kit was talking about, that unbreakable Keep grip. Uh -huh. He's going for it again. Still got power in it. Just under three minutes here, guys. Keenan on that arm. But you see the way that Yuri has Keenan's left leg is kind of throwing it off for Keenan. Yeah, he doesn't quite have that head control. He can't really isolate the body very well. Oh, 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 this is good. This is good for Keenan here. Yuri's neck is uncomfortable. It's hard to breathe in that position right there. It's, it's really uncomfortable. Your neck is pushed down. Your chin is pushed down into your chest. It's almost like a neck crank. He's able to escape right there. It's like Keenan got a little tired there on that grip. Keenan working with those lapels there, Kit. The worm guarded, the lapel guard of Keenan Cornelius, no one around the world. I think we haven't seen a lot of it tonight because it's better for points scored systems rather than submission only. What do you think? Or Yuri's just blocking it really well. Could be true. I mean, these guys know each other very well. They're no stranger. They're not strangers to each other. This is the fourth time they've fought, right? Is it? Third. I think it's a third. Third. I think they, they face each other no gi, face each other gi. So it's one and one. This is the rubber match, huh? Look at that lapel wrapped around the neck. Keenan always working something new, man. Gotta love that innovative style of Keenan nice. Cornelius. Nice. Let's see what he's gonna do there with that. Very unique grip there from that Keenan. This is weird. Yeah. That's the cool thing of watching guys like Keenan Cornelius. You may see something new. Put it into your little arsenal and look at this. Oh, a little jump there. Try to jump over the guard. Do a little flying triangle. Now Keenan going into 50-50 here. A little over a minute left, guys. Yeah, no heel hooks permitted from this position, but. with another funky grip here. Attack, you know. Come on. 40 seconds, guys. Holding that lapel, lapel guard. He's gonna put that foot up in that lapel. Oh. Start spinning, taking angles, getting underneath. Here we got some wormage for the first time in the match. 
Wormage. Some Wormage. What's he going to do? It didn't do anything with it. He's a worm farmer. I got worms. Let's see. It reminds me of Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. That's so good. Oh, look oh. at this. Oh. Samoa, he's trying to sit for a footlock here. Giving up position to try to get a submission. Go for it. Last second, maybe knee bar here. Bye, 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 Never out of danger with this guy. Of it. Oh. That's it. What a great match. Okay, there you see Yuri. He finished in that calf slicer. I would have liked to see what would happen if it was a little bit more time. Yeah, I think the match should have kept going in a uh, submission there. Do they ever do that? But I think it has, it has to be like a really tough position. Here we go, instant replay. Here we go. Here we go, that uh, that knee bar that Yuri set up on Keenan. Look at how deep, look at how tight that is. But you, again, you can see Kenny mentioned this earlier that, that Keenan's left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand is in there blocking that knee bar just ever so bit. Able to keep some of the pressure off. Again, that would have broke any man's leg. I think that was think later that was on the in the match. Well. Kit, you see uh, Keenan with that guard passing skills we were talking about. Yeah, so quick to the back, and look at this, gets the hooks in. Ezekiel choke from the back here. Perfect. Really hard to see that choke from a spectator's point of view. And here we come to the end of the match here. Both guys fighting for grips here in this open guard. Look at that almost triangle that Yuri was able to throw up on Keenan. Just a little not enough Keenan able to escape and there's that guard pass we talked about he throws that guard pass faster than anybody in the world today Keenan Cornelius passing guard getting to the upper body and we're gonna pass it to Kenny ladies and gentlemen this match was a draw let's give a hand to both of these competitors